Hey, what's up, YouTube? So not even less than a week ago, Steph Curry won his second MVP. He went back to back. Speaking of back to back, I am a big Drake fan. A video for that will be coming out soon about views. There is no way, there is no way at all that you can say that Stephen Curry is a bad basketball player. He is, without a doubt, the best shooter in NBA history. These are facts. Now, everybody around the world loves Steph Curry now. Everybody, hell, everybody loves his wife. You do not know how many videos I've seen of women and dudes saying everybody wanted Aisha Curry, but ain't nobody Stephen Curry. And it'd be about like 10 minutes long, and they'd be like, they're just sitting in their car, and they just talking about everybody wanted Aisha Curry, but ain't nobody willing to be a Stephen Curry. And not only is he the most popular player in the NBA right now, he's also a good marketing tool. He is the only person in the league. There's nobody else in the league doing this. This dude, this is his warm-up. He comes out. Comes out. He's not even on the court yet. He's from the tunnel. He's in the tunnel. <laughs> he's shooting, shooting threes. But at this point in time, Stephen Curry, yes, he's the most popular. But when you're on top, and no matter what it is, just as much people that will like you, you're going to have just as many people that hate you. It's inevitable. I have not seen this many haters for a player other than LeBron. If there was a list of Stephen Curry haters and then LeBron haters, LeBron's still up there. But Stephen Curry, he's like steadily coming up there and he's gonna surpass him. He's gonna he's gonna come right by him. It is hilarious. I've seen comment sections on Facebook, YouTube, etc. People going back and forth, back and forth. People are literally they literally find anything. Anything. Or at least I it's not really anything. They try. They try to find something wrong with Stephen Curry's game. Somehow oh he's not a good defender. Leads the league in steals. Averages 30 points a game. Oh, you know, most of it's just three-pointers. And then when he does take layups inside, he's wide open. He's wide open because he's getting done breaking somebody's ankles. His ball handling skills are phenomenal. This dude's just dribbling through defenses. And then, like, it doesn't even phase him. Then on top of that, there's so many sports analysts who have broken down the numbers and statistics and shown that Stephen Curry is actually a legitimate good defender. He's obviously not a Kawhi Leonard, but he's actually a good defender. But I see why a person with think that every time you see Stephen Curry you see a three-pointer going up or him breaking somebody off and shooting the three-pointer or if he's breaking somebody off he's getting a wide open layup at this point in time there's not really nothing wrong with Stephen you know what no I take that back the only thing that's wrong with Stephen Curry at this point is injuries and that's it and that hasn't even held him back it's not like he's D Rose or something that <laughs> Don't get me started on D. Rose, because I'm a Chicago fan. Don't get me started. Don't get me started. There's a sports journalist named Colin Cowherd. Now, he recently on his show said that Stephen Curry should not be the MVP. Follows that statement up by saying that an MVP should be the most valuable player. Meaning if he goes down, gets injured, or leaves the team, they are therefore doomed. When Stephen Curry is not in the Golden State Warriors lineup, they still win their games. They have pretty much won two playoff series without Steph Curry. Then he goes to mention players such as Chris Paul and LeBron James. Players where if they left a team, and if they came to a team, they will be playoff contenders. And when LeBron comes to a team, they're playoff competitors and they're also finals competitors. But we're not going to get into all that because, yeah, everybody will have their arguments about, oh, he's in the Eastern Conference. Yeah, okay, we we I've heard, we, we all have heard that. We've all heard, yeah, the Eastern Conference is weak, whatever. But he still gets there every year to the finals. When LeBron left the Cavaliers, took his fans to Miami, they won 19 games that following year, thus getting Kyrie Irving. Still getting dominated. Then they drafted like two big men. Still got dominated. LeBron comes back. Finals appearance. Los Angeles Clippers. The last person I remember actually doing stuff for the Los Angeles Clippers was like Baron Davis. <laughs> then they got Blake Griffin. He was entertaining, but they weren't no playoff contenders. Then Chris Paul gets there. Playoff contenders. And plus, without a doubt, it was shown in the playoffs when Chris Paul went down, unfortunately. They they were doomed. They couldn't do nothing else once he went down. Everybody said, yeah, the season's over. And to really break it down to what he's really saying, just be completely simple. Most valuable players should be the player who's the most valuable to the team. If they go, they're doomed. If they're there, they can make some big things happen. Now, when we're talking from that perspective, 
Yeah, Stephen Curry, I guess so. And in, in that situation, he does not fit the most valuable player. He then goes on to say that LeBron is probably the most valuable player in the NBA ever. I agree with this. Most people, when they talk about the NBA today, when they want to start a team, they say they want to build around LeBron James. Who doesn't want to build around LeBron James? Like, be completely honest. Who doesn't want to build around LeBron James? Yeah, you can say you can't shoot the basketball. Let's say this is your world. You're the coach. Put him at the four. Put him, make him be a forward. Body people. And then on top of that, he got good ball handling skills. He can see the he can see the floor. He will find the shooters. He loves shooters. Freaking Ray Allen. We cannot forget it. He likes shooters. He will get you the ball. He will get it to you. I do agree. The league MVP which he should pretty much be every year. They they should just name the trophy after him. It should be the LeBron James Award. I, I personally think this. But it's cool, though. The whole point of this is, do you think that Stephen Curry should be the league MVP? If you think Stephen Curry deserved the MVP award, put MVP in the comment section. If you feel like LeBron should have been the MVP, put LBJ in. Or if you think your favorite player should have been the league MVP, Put his name in the comment section and also explain why. And last but not least, if you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe button, follow me on Twitter, and I hope you all have a nice day. Pimp Squad Club